Mose, get up, Mose. I need your help. Mose, you need to explain the electrolysis to me. How does it work? Yes, that's what I thought. Morning guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look at something a little bit different, something I haven't done before then, but something I'm going to need to do to clean up this block properly, and that is electrolysis for rust removal, okay? So, what we've got then, as you guys know, is this block down here, if we get there. And the block itself, inside it obviously, there's a whole load of rust inside the water jacket, there's a whole load of grease and all sorts going on in there. And that needs to be cleaned out properly, because we're trying to do this engine properly as well. So, to get it all out is not easy, you can blast it, you can do chemical cleaning, there are various things, or you can use electrolysis, which is something I'm going to try today. And we're going to start off with a test piece then over here, to see what I'm going to have to do to make this work properly, because I've never done it before. So what we're going to use is the front plate off the engine here, and I've just given it a quick go over with a wire wheel, but nothing exciting, so it's still got a bit of grease, it's still got some paint on it and things like that, and we're going to see if you really need to, what sort of level of prep you need to do with this electrolysis to make it work properly and whether you can just take a piece like this as it is pretty dirty and not cleaned up and whether that will work or not, so I'm not sure. But the things we need for it then guys is a tub to put it in, we'll try this smaller one today, so and I've got the bigger one there for the block at the back. You need a charger, well a power source okay, because it's an electrical um, chemical electrical uh, rust removal okay so I've got an old DC battery charger 12 and 24 volts and this one hasn't got any fancy sort of uh, automatic cutoff for when the battery is too charged or anything like that because if you have one of those it can confuse the battery charger um, using it with electrolysis and that uh, means that it cuts off too early and you're not able to do it and 24 volts as well so you can get a good a good amount of uh, power going through it so that the electrolysis occurs quicker and the rust removal occurs quicker. So that's what I've got. We haven't tried it yet. Not sure if it's going to work. And then, um, so what's going to happen is the negative, the cathode, is going to go onto the piece that we want the rust removing from. And then the anode is going to be these graphite rods here. Okay. These inanimate carbon rods. And I'm not sure whether they're big enough or not. I'm not sure if they are. I don't think they will be, but I do have a steel plate that I can use in case this doesn't work. They're pretty pretty weedy really so we'll see how we get on with that and then in the water so this plate here is going to be inside this tub full of water and then we're going to need something to provide ions so that the rust and all the bits and bobs can move around in the water and you can do that with something like this which is a sodium carbonate it's just a good source of negative and positive ions so that the rust removal works properly there are various things you can use um, I think this one's called soda ash um, but you can also use um, sodium hydroxide like I used previously and that actually works as a rust remover on its own, not even without electrolysis, so that must be pretty powerful stuff. Um, but we'll try this one here, we'll try the sodium carbonate and see if that works. So guys, we've got him in there lying down, I'm going to try lying down rather than standing up, I don't think it should make a difference. Uh, we've got the negative attached to a corner there where I've cleaned it up um, so that there's shiny metal so that hopefully it's got a, good, got a good contact. Again, we'll see if that works. And then let's put some water in there till it's covered up. As you guys know, mixing water and electricity is always a great idea, so uh, let's see. You can see that the, the water was sort of beading on it there because it hasn't been degreased. I'm not sure whether that makes a difference or not, so we'll have to find out about that. Right, so I suppose that's about two gallons. So we need one to two tea, uh, tablespoons per gallon there. So we'll put two tablespoons in that and we'll, we'll get on with that then. Actually, we'll go for four tablespoons. Let's, uh, let's splash out a bit here. Right guys, so what we've got then is we've got most of that uh, dissolved in there, which is good. We've got the cathode attack, attached to the workpiece. We've got uh, the anodes in the corner there. Hopefully they're close. Um, I mean, I suppose that's what we need to do there. It's not touching the metal piece, so it shouldn't short out or anything. And we've got our untested battery charger up here ready to go, set to 12 volt and minimum. So the only thing to do now, guys, is to uh, plug it in and see what happens. You know, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll see, I don't think mixing water, untested battery chargers and uh, electricity is a great idea. But let's find out then, let's, uh, let's see. I put on a rubber glove um, for added effect, but uh, let's plug it in. And we can see if this shorts out my house or goes pop or whatever. Right, one-handed, ready. Oh, okay, the uh, amp meter went up, that's good. 
that means it's drawing something so there is a current flow occurring so electrolysis is occurring at about two amps at the moment at 12 volts it's set to min so that's good it didn't just oh it's fizzing on the edge there so the exposed edge closest to it is fizzing so it looks like proximity yeah yeah it's definitely going there guys hey that's good so the closer bit is fizzing the most so maybe we're gonna have to rotate it around then in a while but that's good news so far appears to be doing what it's supposed to do let's try some of these controls on this battery charger because that's only two amps that's hardly anything so um what does max do this should be interesting ready max does nothing cool that's maximum everyone we've turned it to 11. okay so right then we'll turn it back to min um what do you reckon 24 volts ready oh it's gone up it's fizzing a lot it's really going for it my anodes are working it's not doing much around this side i mean there is some fizzing but it's definitely the closer bit is doing the most fizzing which is interesting so perhaps this is why people use big flat plates which um you know you have it standing upright and you have a flat plate if you had it standing here and you had a flat plate opposite it the current would flow all the way across evenly rather than just in a corner so i think we found the first the first issue here about how to do it better so we'll try this for a while and see what happens then and maybe we can improve on it but so far so good guys it hasn't blown up which is excellent news so um let's keep going Okay guys, mark two attempt then. Standing upright, 47 litres of water, 24 spoonfuls of um, sodium carbonate and a steel plate instead of the little weedy um, graphite rods which didn't seem to have enough surface area to really be of any use there. So let's uh, you set back to 12 volts on minimum. Let's plug him in again and see what we get. Oh yeah, okay, right, here we go guys. We've got so that's gone up to just under 10 amps now. So this is the bigger surface area is obviously allowing more electrolysis to occur. Let's have a look. What can we see? See bubbling all the way along it now? Yeah, this is much better. So this is why people do it vertically then. So trying to be clever and lying it down and using less electrolyte doesn't seem to work. That's fizzing like a crazy thing now. That's great, all the way along it. So although we can't see it, hopefully that's all working down there and on the corner my plate is fizzing away as well. That's only on 12, 12 volts there at the moment. So, um, yes, it's good. Does fizzing equal good? Let's see. 24, oh, it's set to 24. Ah, okay, whoops. Yeah, so it's set to 24 then. So, let's give it a, a while and see what we get out of this thing, guys. Okay guys, right, when we had an hour of this then, so should we see how it's getting on inside here and see if anything has occurred? So, right, here we go. <laughs> right, that looks like something's occurring. That looks like rusty water to me, so something has definitely got to be working then. So let's unplug this and have a look at what's going on with our plates. So, let's get you out. Okay, so that's unplugged, so I'm not going to zap myself. Let's have a look at this one first. Oh man. Okay, so it's something, so it causes this to rust instead of the other thing, and it looks nasty, very nasty. So that's definitely something going on at that end. Let's have a look at the plate then. Oh, yeah, it's heavy. Okay. That's certainly looking like something's going on here, guys, definitely then. Let's get it out a little bit and uh, have a look at it, clean it and see what happens. Right guys, here he is straight out of the um, bath then. So definitely something is going on then. This paint, you can see the paint's coming out and that is just coming off with a finger now. So obviously it starts to lift paint. That's the original uh, Willy's drab on there with the uh, red primer beneath it. There's some bit of, yeah look, everything's starting to come off loose. So this was just gasket, old gasket material. So um, I think if you went over it quick with a brush, it would really, 
So I might do that, I might dry it, go with the brush and then put it back in so we can see what it looks like. But it's definitely loosening everything, no matter whether it's oily or painty, which is good. You know, it sounds excellent actually for the future then. Look at this side, this was oil. Loosening everything. This is, this is a, this is a good thing I think guys. I think we found, well I haven't found it, electrolysis is a, is a great uh, tool used by millions of people, but yeah, seems to be pretty good really. Right, let's clean it up a little bit. So a couple of seconds with the wire wheel guys and we can see that it's already looking, well, pretty damn good actually. It's, you couldn't really say it's rusty so much anymore. Um, I reckon another couple of hours and this thing's gonna be spotlessly clean. You can see the painted bit there paint was protecting it and that's just lifted right off so you can have paint on it with electrolysis and it just lifts it off apparently and then you can just brush it off so that's great so it appears as though oil and paint don't seem to affect it which is good news for us for cleaning up a horrible old block which we can't get at inside everywhere so um, we'll put it back in for a couple of hours and see how we get on with it okay guys we've had three hours then in the electrolysis bath at 24 volts and as you can see it's made a right old mess in there so it's definitely been doing something which is pretty impressive and I've just got the uh, the front plate out and I've had it uh, with a wire wheel just to clean it up just slightly then. So um, here we go guys, this is the results after just three hours with 24 volts and a bit of wire wooling afterwards. And as you can see, it's looking very, very good indeed. I mean, this is, this is excellent. It's polished up well. You can see some oil, oil staining on the backside, um, but really the rust is all gone. There's, bits in here which you get out with the wire brush and things like that but otherwise guys that's as good as I want because you'd, otherwise you could just leave it in there for hours and hours and hours wasting electricity just to do the last one percent it's not really worth it because it's quite expensive to run these things so that's it guys that's electrolysis then I don't know what to say really I mean it's it's practically magic it seems to have done amazing that was a greasy piece un, un sorted out you know we hadn't taken any of the grease off hadn't removed any paint and it's just worked perfectly so i'm really impressed with this i think electrolysis is the way forwards guys you know on a flat plate like this you could do manual cleaning or blasting but when we work on a block we need to get inside it and we can't do that and if this is what electrolysis does i mean the inside of this block is going to be squeaky clean after this this is incredible so yeah really pleased with that guys we're going to move on with more cleaning i've got other ways of doing stuff as well which is good but electrolysis i'm very pleased with it also makes a really pleasing disgusting looking thing in there that's great it's also cheap it's worked out pretty well in comparison to other methods this is uh you've got to buy a, a battery charger to run it some um sodium carbonate to put in there and a tub and that's it really and the electricity to run it so not expensive at all guys so that's it i hope you're happy with that i'm pretty pleased with that we'll move on to more things in the future then but uh, for now guys i'll see you next time thanks a lot